Hey guys! My name is Nika and welcome to my channel. I just came back from Tuscany in Italy and they have a huge Kiko store there and of course I went crazy and I brought back a huge bag of Kiko goodies with me and it's time to test them. It's been about a week since I bought them and I didn't touch almost none of it. I only used two products. One is on my nails and the other one is a waterproof mascara which I wanted to use in the pool in Italy so I could test it out but more on that later on. I've spent about 170 euros on all these items but as you will see in a minute there's lots of stuff so these items are very affordable from 1 euro to let's say 20 euros for some foundations and stuff like that but most items are somewhere around 5 euros or so so it's quite affordable and now if you're interested in Kiko products just keep on watching. So in front of me is this huge bag full of Kiko cosmetics and I'm so excited because I can finally play with it. Now let's see what's inside. Let's start with the nail polish because I'm already wearing one. It's one of the items that I have used before filming this video, but I have just applied it a few minutes ago and I think it still counts as a first impression. The one that's on my nails is this one. It's Power Pro Nail Lacquer, as you can see, and I really like the shade. It's beautiful nude one and I think it suits me now that I have a bit of a tan going on. Then the second one is this taupey nail lacquer, I think it's called glossy nail lacquer. And then I have a pinky one. It's the shade that I'm wearing all the time and I think I have like at least five nail polishes in similar shade already but you know it's my favorite shade for nails so couldn't help myself. And then I also bought this perfect gel duo. So in here you get, oh it's, a pink, it's another pinky one, of course, what else? In this duo you get a nail polish which is colored and then you get a top coat which is supposed to give you a gel-like effect. I will try this out and I will make another video with my uh, nail polish collection and a bit of declutter because I have probably around 50 nail polishes or even more so I will make another video just about that and give you an update on how all these Kiko nail polishes work. Now let's move on to makeup. This is the part that we are all been waiting for. I have pretty much full face of makeup except a few tiny little things so I'm just gonna apply it and see how it works. I don't have a face primer because that's one of the things that I didn't buy, not sure why, but I have an eye base. It comes in this beautiful black box. Almost all Kiko items come in this black boxes, so I'm not gonna show you for every item. And this is a pearly eye base. I bought a pearly one because I don't have any yet. I have probably applied a bit too much. Oh no, it, it works nice. It feels quite wet on the lids. We'll see if it dries down. I think it looks quite intimidating at first but then it really like sets in and leaves just a bit of sheen on the eyes. It's not wet or sticky anymore. Hmm, I think I might like that. I will continue with my foundation. I bought the liquid skin foundation because it says it's second skin foundation. And as you guys know, I really like natural looking makeup, so I think this one will be good for me. And I took the shade Neutral 20. And they also have, they have so many shades. They have warm pink, cool pink, warm yellow, cool yellow and neutral, so I think that's great. And also the shade range is from quite light to quite dark, so I think you would really find your match. It's this dropper kind of foundation. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Oh, it's very liquidy. Let me get some more 
yeah, it's super liquidy. I think I'm gonna use it with a brush because it's so runny. I think I really like it so far. I think it evened out my skin tone quite nicely, but the coverage is not too intense. I would say it's light to medium. I will try to build it up just a little bit so we can see how that works. It blended out nicely, it really looks very natural on my skin and it's not very tacky. I'm just gonna dot a bit more here. Oh, <laughs> hey Charlie. Of course, my video wouldn't be the same without Charlie in it. So let's see this second layer. So that's the second layer on my face. I think it blended out nicely with what was previously on. And I think it looks really good. It's still, it's not a full coverage, of course, I didn't expect it to be, but I think it's like a medium coverage or so. But I really like how this foundation looks. And my skin still has a bit of shine here on my skin. Then I also bought two concealers. I have one which is called Skin Tone Concealer and full coverage one. I'm gonna highlight my face with this one and I'm gonna try to hide my dark circles with the other one with the full coverage. Hmm, I'm not sure about this one. I think it's lifting up my foundation from my nose, which I don't really like. And it doesn't really blend all that nicely. And I think it emphasized my pores up here a little bit. Mm, not sure about this one. I'm gonna have to play with it a bit more, of course. But now let's move to the, oops, to the full coverage concealer. It comes in this little pot like this. And as you can see, it comes with the mirror. Wow. Okay, this is really full coverage and I really like it. Can you guys see the difference between this eye and this one? I still have a bit of darkness down here. I have really intense dark circles, so it's almost impossible to hide them, but I think this one is doing a really good job. And it's very easy to blend. I'm really liking this one. It might be my new favorite concealer. Now let's move on to two sticks. First is a creamy stick contour and the other one is creamy stick blush. By the way, I will have all the products listed down below in the description box so you can check for yourself. So this is the contour stick and this is the shade. I think it's very nice. It's actually a bit cool tone, so I think it's gonna be great for contouring. Ooh, it feels very creamy on the face. Whoa, this blends out so nicely. And the shade is so pretty, guys. I think it looks really, really good. I really, really like it. I love the shade, I love the way it blends and the texture, it's awesome. And then another one, another stick is a blush stick. Ooh, whoa, that's intense. <laughs> But again, it blends out so nicely. I really like it, guys. I feel so healthy with it. And it looks like I'm like blushing from within. Not, it doesn't look like makeup. It looks so natural, I think. Now I'm gonna powder my face. That's another item that I don't have from Kiko. So I'm just gonna use my Catrice one, uh, which I'm not gonna show on the camera because it's not Kiko. So see ya after I powder my face. So I powdered my face and I also did my eyebrows because I also don't have that from Kiko. And now it's Kiko till the end. That's it. And guys, I have to tell you, if you watched any of my previous videos, you will always see that I have to smooth out the concealer and the eyeshadow primer before I go in with the powder. But with these two, I didn't have to. They didn't crease at all, which is like a miracle for <laughs> my skin because my eyes just crease like crazy, so 
I think I'll finish up my face, so I will go in, I have a bronzer, and look at the packaging guys, it's so pretty, wow, whoa, that's quite dark, okay, <laughs> it didn't look so dark in the store, but okay, we'll make it work. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques brush, and I'm gonna be very gentle with it, oh, it has some fallout, okay. Doesn't look that bad on the skin. And the texture is very smooth and creamy. Let me just swatch it here on the back of my hand. It's super creamy to the touch, I really like that. And it blends very nicely. And now for my face also, the last item is the highlighter. Also in this beautiful, beautiful packaging. It looks like this. It's sort of like goldeny, very light gold, champagne gold. I think it comes in three shades, but the other two were quite darker than this one, so that's the highlighter. I'm not sure. It looks a bit like powdery and a bit patchy. No, I don't like it. It looks quite pretty on camera because it's quite intense, but here when I see in my mirror it accentuates my texture quite a bit and it doesn't look very even. It really looks like it sits on my skin, so it didn't really like blend with the rest of my face. Now let's move on to the eyes. Hmm, I have so many things for the eyes. I will start with the eyeshadows. First I bought two that are called High Pigment and they can be used wet and dry. One is a bit more warm toned and one is a bit more cool toned. And when I swatched them at the store, they looked like super shiny and pretty. That's why I bought both. Whoa. Okay, that's super intense. See here on the top are the both eyeshadows. I really like them. They're super shiny. The lower one is shade 16 and the upper one, the more taupey one is shade 04. Then I have four of the water eyeshadows. They can also be used wet and dry. They come in little boxes like this. This is the shade 228. So that's the shade 228. This is the shade 200. So the lighter one is the shade 200. Then this is the 227. So that's 227 on the bottom. And the last one, this is gonna be my new favorite because I really love green eyeshadows. Here we go. Next I have this one, I think it's a special collection and it's called Metallic Shine. Oh, such a cute packaging. See? It's in this little pot and it's also green. It's very creamy to the touch. It's not like a cream eyeshadow, it's a, it's a pigment. Whoa, that's intense. And then I also have a Sparkling Trail eyeshadow. It's also from probably a special collection because it's in this white packaging. It's a pencil and this is the shade 02. It's this pencil sparkling trail eyeshadow. So now what to use on my eyes? Of course I didn't buy any matte eyeshadow because they don't look so cool as the sparkly ones. So I think I'm gonna use my bronzer for my crease. I think I'm gonna use this pencil here all over my eyelid. That blends out quite nicely. I really like it guys. I highly recommend this pencil. And now to use something else as well. I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna use this pot. The metallic shine eyeshadow. And I'm gonna use it on my lower lash line. I quite like that. <laughs> Now, to play with a bit more of the eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this beautiful shade 200 and I'm gonna put that on the center of my eyelid. 
like so just to make it pop a bit more and to use some more I'm gonna use this one this one is in the shade 16 I'm gonna use it on my brow bone and my inner corners whoa that's so much product <laughs> I'm gonna tap it off now I have two eyeliners one is brown and one is black and when I swatched it in the store I couldn't get it off my hand for for one whole day <laughs> the next day I had to like really strongly scrape it off with soap and everything so I have very high hopes for this so I have a black one and a brown one and it's called lasting precision automatic eyeliner and coal this one the brown one is in the shade 12 and the black one is in the shade 16 i'm gonna use the brown one and i'm gonna line my upper waterline i usually don't do it because everything smudges on me but i really have high hopes for this one and it's an automatic eyeliner so you just twist it out and twist it back in it's very pigmented guys now I also have two mascaras I have the extra sculpt volume mascara and unmeasurable length mascara and I also have let me see I have the extra sculpt also in waterproof version which I have already used because I wanted to test it um, in Italy by the pool and I have to say I wasn't too impressed because well, it's supposed to be waterproof, but it really like crumbled here under my eyes after I went to the water, so mm, not so happy about it. And also, the wand is quite big, as you can see. And I kind of prefer smaller ones because it's easier to get it like to your lashes. And I think Kathleen Lights was raving about this one. So I'm very excited to try the non-waterproof version. But for today, I think I'm gonna play with this one. Whoa, it's huge! <laughs> I really love the packaging. Let's see how it looks. Oh, this one is not so big on the inside. Looks like this. I really like this one, guys. Not sure if you can see, but it made my lashes quite long, I have to say. And they're nicely separated and I forgot to curl them so this is like a real test <laughs> I really like this mascara <laughs> I really like everything oh my god that's just crazy <laughs> I think it's time to set my face I usually do it before I apply my mascara so it doesn't smudge or anything but I forgot this is how it looks like it's called face makeup fixer let's see the mist do I need to shake it or anything? No. Ooh, oops. <laughs> okay. This fell off. Okay. Not impressed by that. I hope I can fix it. And the scent is quite... It feels like I'm spraying like a hairspray or something. Even the scent is quite similar. But let's see. Okay. Oh. That burns my eyes. Whew. I opened my eyes too quickly. Huh, okay, that's quite nice. It doesn't feel like a fixing spray because it's so it feels so light on the skin, but I think it did something. My highlighter looks better, everything looks a bit more blended in, at least here in my mirror. Okay, let's try a bit more, because more is more. <laughs> okay. Whew but it really feels like it's fixing my makeup to my face so I might like that and now let's move on to the last but not least my lips I have two lip pens first one is called Smart Fusion Lip Pencil and the second one is Creamy Color Comfort Lip Liner all the shades are quite natural I think I really love this gold packaging this is the shade 315 oh this one is not so natural it's a bit of a berry, mauve kind of shade. And that's the Smart Fusion Pencil. And it's also quite pinky. I thought it's more nude. It looked way more nude in the store. 
and for the lipstick it's the smart fusion lipstick so yeah this is the smart fusion lip pencil and this is the smart fusion lipstick it's in the shade 405 and it's a beautiful pinky nude shade it's not too opaque and it's a bit shiny I quite like it they have lots of other lipsticks with so many different finishes but I kinda went for this one it feels very creamy on the lips so that's it for my lip pencil I think it's very creamy and it feels very good on my lips I like it, it feels very hydrating and comfortable on the lips. So that's it for my Kiko haul. I think we tested so many things, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to play even more with all this stuff and if you want to know how everything wears just ask me in the comments down below and I'll try to answer. And please let me know if you're using any of the Kiko items and which one you love the most and which one didn't work for you because here I pretty much found all the stuff that I liked except for this one concealer that I'm not really sure about yet but everything else that I tried I think it looks great it applied well I just loved it so much I'm so excited and it's so affordable <laughs> I really hope that this video helped you a bit maybe in choosing some new products and that you liked it if you did don't forget to put your thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more similar videos like this and also check my description box down below to see all the products that are on my face and that I talked about and to see my social media handles so you can check me out on other social media as well. So see you in my next video. Bye! I really like this bronzer. I think I'm going to use every day while I still... 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 I really like this bronzer. I think I'm going to use it every day. And unmeasurable, and unmeasurable, and unmeasurable, and unmeasurable.